Hi, just thought I'd do um, a video on my Ruger 1022 trigger group. Um, how I take it apart and put it back together basically. Um, so first thing I do is drop the hammer forward and then remove the main spring in the back there. Now I'll apologise if the focus keeps going in and out because I'm trying to do it fairly close up so that you can see what's going on. So that's the main spring, it just lifts out. Okay, pop the hammer back and then pop out this pin here, push it all the way out. Okay, now you'll notice when I remove the drive that this little spring in here is free to flick up in the air then. I'll just hold it. Okay, so it flicks up in the air. All right, and it's loose. Whoops, and that's the bottom pin. So remove the ejector. Okay, and that pin actually there is out of there. So remove the ejector. Push out the, the hammer pin. Okay, and you can remove the hammer with the spring and the bushes. Off to one side. Pop this pin out, which falls out anyway. And then what I like to do, push that in, pull out the latch, pull out the plunger, and remove the bolt lock plate. Okay, all that's left in there now is the trigger. So push out that pin. Just be careful because there's lots of little springs and things in there. So you take that little pin in, out and then carefully remove the trigger parts and that little plunger. And there's a little spring in there too. Oops, stay there. Take that little spring. That's, that's basically what comes out of the trigger apart from the safety also which I don't take out okay